What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Artist Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and its latest updates that it's brought out at this very moment. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for this webpage over here. You can go ahead and check out all the updates that it's brought out for Modern Warfare 2 and then also Warzone 2.0. Now this is very in-depth settings that I'm going to be showing you today to fix problems like this because people are experiencing problems like this. Stutter issues, black screen errors, FPS loss, game crashing, and then also having a bad gameplay experience in general. Now today I'm going to show you what you can do with your machine inside Windows, inside your graphics settings, and then also inside your game to get the best performance out of your game itself. Now a lot of things have changed inside Modern Warfare 2 and then also in Warzone 2.0. Now ladies and gentlemen I will leave a link in the description down below for this webpage over here. You can just go ahead and go in detail and read what it's all about. I'm not going to do that right now otherwise I'm going to make this video very very long. I just want to get to the important steps. All right. Let's jump straight ahead into these optimization guides. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your File Explorer over here and then go to your Documents folder, Call of Duty, Players, and this will be your config files. You're going to go to option 3.cod22.cst, double click on this and open this up with any notepad or any Word document that you can edit with and scroll all the way down to where you see it says here, Render Worker Count. Alright, something very important I do want to mention is, please go ahead and close your game completely. If you're running this through Battle.net or Steam, go ahead and close your Battle.net, close your Steam. You do not want your game running while you are tweaking settings inside your config file. You are going to break your fucking game. Trust me, this will happen. So please go ahead and close every single thing that you have open at this very moment. Okay, so your game and your applications that you're playing your game through. Okay, so you are going to change this to your total cores of your CPU. Mine was on five. Now, I'm just going to show you guys something. A lot of people out there do not know what cores their CPU is running. They're not computer enthusiasts, or they do not know much about computers. They're brand new to gaming, or whatever the case might be. And I know a lot of people, 95% of the fucking people, basically know what their cores are. But if you don't, just go to any search browser, and then go and type in on Google, your CPU and type in specs next to it and then open up the first web page over here like this. Once you're on this web page over here, you're just going to scroll down and you're going to go over here where it says total cores and total threads. Now, please don't get these confused, all right? Mine has eight cores and eight threads because I have a 9700K CPU. A lot of people might have four cores, eight threads, six cores, 12 threads, whatever, etc, 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 right? You are going to type in the total cores of your current CPU that you're currently running, okay? You can either just copy this or you can type it in yourself and just go over here and type it in or paste it in, right? So I'm just going to paste mine in here just to show you how to do this. You paste it. Once you are done with this, you're going to go to the file over here and then say save and then close out of this. Now for a lot of people in my comments on my previous video, there's a lot of things that have changed inside my NVIDIA control panel settings, my Windows settings, and a lot of things has changed to make this game run really, really smooth. A lot of people have said in my comments down below that every time they restart their computer or their laptop or whatever the case might be, it goes back to its default settings, being, I don't know, whatever number, it's not your total cause. Now to fix that, all you need to do is just right click on this, go to properties, and then change it to read only so it looks like this all right and you say apply now mine doesn't change when i restart my computer i have tested this so if it does it for you go ahead and put it on read only and say apply all right once you're done with this you're going to close out of this and then you are going to go to your search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter you're going to go to gaming over here and then go to game mode now, for a lot of people out there that's running NVIDIA graphics cards, I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this on at this very moment. For Warzone and Modern Warfare 2, go ahead and turn this on for NVIDIA graphics cards. You will increase in FPS just by turning this on. And then this is a very important note. Go to your graphics settings over here and delete every single game you've ever added inside here. Delete it and turn this off. Yours might be on go ahead and turn it off all right now it's going to ask you to restart your computer watch my video finish because you're going to have to restart your computer after applying every single setting i'm going to show you today in any ways so just turn it off and then close out of this completely all right once you're done with that you're going to go to the search button over here again and type in edit power plan just like this and go to edit 
power plan, you are going to go to power options here at the top and then go to create a power plan. You're going to go to high performance and delete this and say here, best settings for Modern Warfare 2, right? Just like this, you can type in anything you want here and just go next. And then you're going to say never, never and say create. Now you have an active power plan and you're going to go to change plan settings. You're going to go to change advanced power settings and go over here. As you can see, it's active right now. You're going to go over here where it says turn off hard disk after. Now this will be on 20 on its default. You're going to change this to zero, all right? Click on anything and it will say never, especially if you're running this game on a mechanical drive, not a solid state drive. Now I have SSDs and M.2s. And I still go ahead and change this. Please go ahead and do this. It does help with your machine's performance. Scroll all the way down to where it says processor power management and go to minimum processor state. Make sure that yours is on 100% and your maximum state also on 100%. Now for people that's playing this game on a laptop, you'll get two options, plugged in and on battery. Change them both to 100% and apply these settings and say OK and then close out of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next step is for NVIDIA users out there. You're just going to right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel and then open this up. All right. Once this is opened, you are going to go over here where it says adjust image settings with preview and go to use the advanced 3D image settings. And it's going to say, take me there. It's basically just going to take you over here, but you can just click on this over here and it will take you there. Now, these are your global settings. Now, this has changed since my last upload. All of these settings has changed. Now, they play a very big role in stuttering and it will take away your stuttering and make your game run much, much better than it's ever done before. Trust me, all you're going to need to do is just copy my settings that I have inside here, all right? So this plays a very big role inside this game with stuttering. Shader cast size, change it from default driver to 100 gigs, okay? You're going to put this on, on, allow, high performance, prefer maximum performance, your graphics card, and prefer performance. Scroll down, turn this on, Turn this on, off, off, one, off, auto. Once you are done with all of these settings, you are going to apply them here at the bottom and you're going to go to config, surround and physics. Now yours might be on auto select or CPU. Go ahead and select your dedicated graphics card, which is 95% of the gaming community are running dedicated graphics cards. The only reason why you would change this to CPU is if you have an APU itself, meaning you have a CPU with a graphics card built into it and you do not have a dedicated graphics card. So go ahead and change it to your dedicated graphics card and apply these settings. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to change resolution over here and then scroll all the way down and then go to this over here. Change it from use default color settings to use NVIDIA color settings, all right? So it takes your graphics cards, settings, color settings, and everything that it can take and make your game look much, much better. You're going to put this on 8, full, RGB, and highest, which is the 32-bit version, all right? Yours might change or differ from mine. Just put it on its highest, 8, full, and RGB. Once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings and you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and then go ahead and copy mine exactly as it is over here because that over there, the color changing settings inside your NVIDIA control panel plays a very big role on this as well, all right? These two play together. They need to play together, all right? So copy these settings exactly as is. Once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna jump straight into the game and show you the best settings that you can be using right now at this very moment for the new update for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and the settings you should be using for the best performance out of your game. All right, let's jump straight into that. So the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is just go to your little gear icon over here and then go to interface and then scroll all the way down to where you see this over here. You're going to turn this all on. Now you can customize this yourself, turn things off that you do not need, but I do suggest you go ahead and leave them all on so you can actually see what you're doing up here at the top with your specific machine that you are currently running. All right, you're going to scroll all the way up until you see this one over here, which says color customization. Now, in the video control panel with your NVIDIA color settings and your display settings that I showed you earlier on in the video plays a very big role with this over here. You go to click on this, go to filter to put this on both, put this on 100%, 100%, and then this is your own personal preference. I leave mine on this. You can leave it at default. I leave mine on this. It makes my game just pop a little bit more. All right, once you're done with this, you're just going to press escape and then go to your graphic settings over here and then go to quality. And obviously it's going to be on custom because you're going to customize the settings inside here. Now, obviously you do want this at 100%. Do not drop it down because your game's going to start looking like horseshit 
if you turn it down, it's going to start looking like this instead of like that. Now you do not want it to look like this, so leave it at 100% and it will look like that, all right? Once you're done with that, you're going to go over here, which is the upscaling inside this game. Now there's a lot of options inside here and a lot of people play around with this. Now for people out there that's rocking lower end gaming graphics cards or lower end gaming machines, go ahead and play with Fidelity FX Cash and then go to show more and put it at 75%. Now it's your own personal preference on what strength you're going to use here, but the sweet spot with my settings is 75% and I highly recommend you go ahead and use this. Now for people out there that's rocking RTX graphics cards like 20 series, 30 series, whatever the case might be, higher end gaming graphics cards, go ahead and use the video DLSS and then put this on balance and at 82% of sharpness. But yet again, it's your own personal preference, okay? Then it's going to turn these two things off for you. Now, if you change this from the video DLSS and you're using Fidelity FX Cache and you have a sharpness of whatever the case might be, your personal preference, it's going to unlock these two things. Now, I highly recommend, do not put it on SMAAT two times. If you look and stare at a wall, I've tested this myself, it's going to make your game look really weird. It's going to make it look blurry and it's going to look like there's a lot of fucking ants on the walls and it's just going to look really old, like you're running your game through an older generation TV. Don't put it on this. Yes, it's going to increase your FPS, but it's going to make your game look worse. Rather like make your game look better and just forget about that 4 or 5 FPS. Forget about it don't care about it right you're going to put this at normal you can upscale this to high or ultra quality depending on the machine that you're running how you are going to perform with your machine with these type of settings i leave mine at normal if i do use fidelity fx cache right video memory scale obviously going to leave this at just default settings texture resolution at low your game's not going to look like this it's still going to look like that trust me there's no difference between normal and low Go ahead and test it yourself. You'll see there's no fucking difference, all right? But do not put it at very low. You are going to throw bleach in your eyes. That's how bad the quality looks. If you put this at very low, it's going to start looking like that. And you're going to have to bleach out your eyes after seeing that. So please do not put it at very low. This at low, this at low, this at low, this at short, low, low. Bullet impacts and sprays play no impact on FPS performance or anything like that. So go ahead and turn this on. You do not need to turn this off low off minimum not max anymore minimum on demand texture streaming low low off off right these play a very big role inside your game a huge role for impact on fps and gaming performance you're going to put this at very low off low spot cache is the only thing you're going to put on high the reason why you put this on high is because it plays a role with that 100 gigs that i changed in my nvidia control panel this will help your game not get any stutter while playing your game while playing modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 because i know a lot of people play modern warfare 2 and warzone 2.0 at this very moment now go ahead and change this to high no you do not need to put it at ultra don't put it at medium put it at high and leave it like that low off you do not need this off low off on plus boost for most people out there you can try on it's your own personal preference and then obviously these three over here you are not going to use it's a multiplayer game why the fuck would you put this on then this all the way to 0, 0.00 otherwise this is going to increase the form gain and it's also going to look like you're playing on an old ass tv so please go ahead and put this on 0.00 after you've done all this, apply these settings and go to view. Now, this over here is your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to change inside here, so change it to your own personal preference. One thing I do recommend is this one over here. Put this on affected. Once you're done with all of these settings that you just tweaked now, you're going to go to display, scroll down, and go to restart shader optimization. Click on this and then say restart right you're going to click on restart then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to close out of your game completely restart your computer and come back into the game ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to me to channel if you're new year and yes ladies and gentlemen this one over here display gamma i have mine at 2.4 at this very moment the reason why i have mine at 2.4 is because it makes my game's color pop even more so yeah there's a lot of settings and tweaks that you can do inside this game to make it run better smoother and just have an overall Really good gameplay experience. As always, ladies and gentlemen, peace.